Hi, it's June 7th. I'm Mike Stanton. That's Brian Babler. We're here with the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Thanks for joining me here this week, Brian. Thanks, Mike. A lot to talk about this week. Uh, heavy week in the municipal new issue market, and then we also got a surprisingly strong economic data at the end of the week. What did you see and what was important? Yeah, we certainly had an eventful week uh, here in the muni market. But first, as a backdrop, uh, until this morning's non-farm payroll number, which came in higher than expected at 272,000 versus a consensus of 180,000, uh, we had seen the Treasury market had been in full-on rally mode since last week. And through yesterday's close uh, since last Thursday, we had the two-year Treasury lower by about 20 basis points, the 10-year Treasury lower by... 26 basis points, and out long the 30-year Treasury was lower by about 24 basis points. Now, the uh, the stronger non-farm payroll number has definitely reinforced uh, bets this morning that the Federal Reserve will, uh, will not be in any rush uh, to cut rates, uh, and bonds have sold off uh, pretty pretty well this morning. Uh, we've seen the, the two-year uh, sell off as much as 12 basis points. That's currently at a 484. Uh, in 10 years, another 12 basis points, which is currently at around a 441. And in 30 years, uh, the, the Treasury bond is off about 10 basis points, sitting at right around a 454. Um, it's still a little early this morning to see how the tax exempt market's going to react to the Treasury move. Um, but with week over week tax exempt rates lower by, you know, around 20 to 21 basis points up and down the curve. Um, I would expect that we probably see a fairly muted uh, move in the on the tax exempt side of the aisle. Um, we've really seen tax exempt demand uh, driven by positive fund flows. Uh, we had over a half a billion in uh, reported by Lipper in fresh fund flows on top of what is seasonally uh, really strong coupon reinvestment uh, and maturity. So, um, you know, June is uh, is really one of uh, the heavier months of the year. Credit sites uh, estimated that June redemption money is almost 40 billion, and uh, we've really only seen 16 billion on hitting on June 1st, and they are expecting another 23 billion scheduled for June 15th. So, uh, you know, that gets us to this week's mammoth supply number, uh, which was uh, around 16 billion, uh, was really gobbled up without any issue whatsoever. So, between six one. Um, uh, redemption money already hitting, and uh, you know, I anticipated uh, 615 money uh, being you know hitting accounts when uh, when new issue deals are scheduled to close. Uh, we really saw no problem. We saw lots of deals heavily oversubscribed, uh, a lot of uh, yield adjustments, you know, to the tune of five to 15 basis points lower from uh, preliminary pricing to final pricing. So. The market really did uh, really did very well this week and had no issue um, with uh, with with the supply figure that we had and and that was you know sixteen billion is the highest that we've seen since december twenty twenty one on a weekly basis and that brings year over year uh, supply up well over around thirty five percent year to date um, so we're really on a uh, on a, a pretty good track for uh, for twenty twenty four and on the BAM insured calendar, uh, penetration was a little lower this week. BAM last week had a, a very strong week with uh, just under $600 million price on a smaller calendar. This week, penetration was lower, but we actually popped the $600 million level, uh, so more total volume. What deal stood out there? Yeah, uh, another good week. And, you know, with uh, with a lot of the uh, a lot of the supply, you know, that contributed to the 16 billion being pretty high grade, you know, you had the state of Maryland involved and, uh, and a bunch of other highly rated issuers. So penetration rate will be down a little bit, but overall volume uh, actually uh, pretty steady to uh, to up uh, slightly week over week on the insured side. Um, as you mentioned, we did uh, just over 600 million of, uh, of new issue pricing. Uh, those were highlighted by uh, $300 million that were priced for the city of Hutto, Texas, which uh, carried underlying, rate, underlying ratings of A1, AA-, uh, and that was priced by R.W. Baird, and uh, also a $120 million deal for El Paso County School District in Colorado, uh, which had a, uh, an underlying rating of A1 and was priced by RBC. And looking ahead to next week's somewhat lighter calendar, one transaction that stands out on the BAM insured calendar is uh, City of Irvine Community uh, uh, Facilities District uh, for the Great Park. They're selling about $80 million of uh, special tax for funding bonds. That'll be through Stiefel, and that'll be BAM insured next week. So we'll, uh, we'll circle back and see how the market continues to digest this economic data. Thanks for your time, Brian. You got it. Thanks, Mike.